Okay, nice. Okay, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining tonight. Um, first, I need to say thank you very much to Kasten for the support he gave me to set it up, everything. D there, the stability circle. And before I think I go further ahead, I leave you just, you want to add something before I start. Yeah. Um, so thanks everybody for coming. It's the first in a series of meetups from the sustainability circle that we want to do and the idea is for us to <coughs> a platform to our community to go deep into topics. So we're going to be hosting these regularly once a month for people from our community to bring content and to give it to uh, you guys. So keep an eye on the meetup group um, and yeah, if you want to know anything about the sustainability circle at Factory, if you have any ideas or you want to work with us, just talk to us. So it's Dita, uh, Rob sitting back there and myself and super happy to hear the interesting content from Gunship. And um, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I think we are also, just to mention that we are in live streaming and um, we're going we're gonna to start saying that, that actually we can show the, the, the today agenda. So this is actually, um, the way I see it, is just an ensemble of collaborators that are sharing inside the connection between user experience research and ecosystem design thinking. So we're gonna go from zooming out and zooming in. So how and why platform ecosystem strategies are important. We're gonna go and touch uh, and cover the Cobayum platform as a use case. And then we're gonna just, uh, uh, go into the details about how user experience research actually drives culture. And we have online, actually, uh, there, Carolina in US, they're also part of uh, these collaborators, that's tonight we'll share more insights. <laughs> and the custom journey map is just a tool that will kind of prove and share with the audience how was and could be a collaborative ideation tool. And eventually, um, as the outcome that we want to share together, is just to create probably a roadmap of questions regarding why and how the ecosystem design could be applied in your context, for example. What are the questions that are very burning questions that you would like to share? And this could be something that you will have with the event report if you sign up the feedback uh, there. Okay? So I think we can uh, just kick off with, with uh, three statements that are the guidelines of tonight. So uh, I think we are all aware that there is uh, ecological, technological, cultural evolution that put us on uh, the idea that we need to consider business the serving social system and not the other way around. And the second is the user research actually is the spine of organizational design as much as the systemic approach. And the third, we are probably traveling from building product and service to building communities. So <laughs> I want to, so these are the three, the thread of what I like as setting the, the tone, the common ground. So <laughs> if we consider uh, what actually the, the starting point of this approach that we are sharing today is a model that um, uh, this has come from um, a digital transformation consultant in Belgium and uh, look at how um, user tech and network are basically connected to uh, design the, the, um, the business of the future. So I just want to pick some insights here that could be a, a guiding tools uh, for us tonight uh, for the future. So in terms of user, Probably user cannot be called anymore just user. So we cannot just extract value, data, and money. So we need to consider this differently. They want to be part of a purpose in a network. They want to be connected. And therefore, this type of connection is enabled by tech. And tech, it's not just about data. Maybe we need to rethink the economic value of data as much as, for example, open source, how to contribute to digital commons. And eventually, a society. Society, I just want to pick the idea of networks of networks. So if we are next to networks, when we look at the value proposition of your platform or your projects, maybe it's not just about the user. So what the need of the network that could be implemented in a value proposition? So maybe start thinking a network of value proposition. So um, you can find this article because this article focuses on how business can evolve in the age of alignment. And uh, Jerry Smith is something that is, is a person that I collaborated a couple of years ago with a project. And it is a, is a model that inspired me also to share some insight today. So moving, moving ahead, <coughs> um, 
the reason why I mentioned the user, I think we are moving for, from user, uh, consumer to participants, members, citizen, uh, activists. Maybe there are groups of users that are not want to be considered as user, but they are activists, members, they need to be enabled by um, digital uh, platform. So moving ahead <laughs> on the idea of sharing economy. So we all know that peer to peer. So we know that this happened 2010 with Airbnb and previously with eBay. And the idea was that actually a user can maximize his own profit by using resources paid by the users. So that was a was peer to peer. However, this cannot be the same if we consider to societal challenges, cannot be implemented just by a peer to peer platform. We cannot solve the challenge of sustainability as much as democracy thinking just peer to peer. Probably we need to think in a different way, in an ecosystemic approach. So, th therefore, if we, the another step is to consider the problem we are moving for <laughs> from uh, uh, sharing economy to ecosystem economy. And this existing economy uh, actually um, is, is with um, this work from John Egel, which is a, a researcher and pioneer in business model evolutions. <laughs> so here you can see how we are moving from product and service economy, from product to service and economy. He also mentioned how we are moving from a subscription model, pay per use to pay per impact. So there is a different type of connectivity that we need to consider to design a platform that cannot be like he mentioned is a private walled garden because we need to consider an important feature, interoper interoperability features, where platform networks want to communicate freely because members want to have access to different type of exchange. Therefore, platform need to be considered not as a platform, but platform powered ecosystems. And this is an example that we'll go through uh, later. So <laughs> if we consider this even further, we all are here network orchestrators. We are not just designing a platform, but we are enabling networks to be connected with other networks. So therefore we need to have in consideration this kind of a journey that there's participants, you, no user, participants. So if we, if we also um, move it, this is what, I like to frame this, uh, in this in this slide in terms of we need to understand what it takes to have more systemic approach to harness the potential of a community building business model. So in this way, community. So if you think about community, it's a kind of murky concept. So each community has a very quality connection. It's very hard to scale. So but when there is a sense of belonging, that's become something that's very authentic. And this is enabled by the digital platform. So therefore, the communities and the platform, the platform is not just considering that connect suppliers and consumers. Maybe this we need to rethink of members to purposes. Therefore, how this could be enabled digitally as a digital experience. <coughs> An ecosystem. For in, the, in, in this journey we are sharing today is to say the user experience research need to be considered at different layers. It's not just about the user, it's about the network, it's about partners, it's about stakeholders. And that's why the narrative is not just about the narrative of the user. What's the narrative of an ecosystem that needs to be taken into consideration? And eventually, um, the, the team of the organization that is trying to, to frame and uh, design a platform need to have this ability and flexibility to go zooming out and zooming in to align with what the society needs are to then um, implement your own platform ecosystem approach. So um, the, the continuous organizing refers to your organization is not just a, a fixed organization. It will continue to develop because you need to also create a different type of uh, connection to evolve your own awareness of what type of networks you want to uh, engage. So moving ahead, I would like just to share here examples. Examples that we can connect. So this is a, a probably just a brand marketing strategy. So Early Davidson, they have 1,400 chapters around the world. And they share plenty of stories about the brand. This is just about brand marketing, uh, community building. Like moving ahead, 
So the next example is, I don't know if you know this, this, um, this company, it's a UK mobile network company, <laughs> and what they do, they basically outsource the customer service. So there's uh, an entire community that is based on user, they share the, re the response to a customer. And apparently the 90 second time span is how a customer asks for a suggestion and is answered. And you gain points, and these points are reward, awarded, sorry, as uh, um, on your credit or cash rewards. And they actually keep creating idea generation also on this website. So this is an example of community building, community building business model. So uh, going further now towards to the present, towards the future, so Colony is an organization that provide um, uh, frameworks for uh, ownership or for uh, <coughs> Um, financial management, for example, and you can set up your own task, your own project, and you are rewarded. So this is a, a blockchain uh, based on, on Ethereum, but this is another example of uh, collaborative ideation that actually is working, is developing. And the next one is probably even a little bit further ahead, probably you might have heard about uh, Aragon, but they are really making a, a footprint on decentralized autonomous organizations. And they also have this approach to um, create, um, they give autonomy to anyone who wants to uh, set up a task or a project. So just to give you probably a context where uh, Tesla and Coinbase, they are about to invest $900,000 in what they call digital jurisdictions for the project they run on Aragon. So this, uh, this example, are just to uh, set up the scene. I'm conscious of time, I'm just trying to um, summarize this introduction as uh, uh, from the concept to the project we're gonna see with, the, with Fabian, is that there are here uh, an interesting finding from the first uh, state of startup first review. There is this will be 4,000 uh, startups around the world and basically um, uh, community building is not just important, it's crucial for the success so or every platform, every platform. So the reason why I want to show this example is just to, to uh, try to ignite you where we are. Even if we are 10 people, we're gonna share later some questions. So start uh, kindly, ask you, start kind of use your own connection to what you are doing in your projects because questions you have later will be part of a journey that we will share together. So now as after the introduction, I would like to leave the floor to Fabian, and then we will uh, look at Cobayum case that will, uh, will develop.